Hey guys, welcome back, and today I am going to be making a video on, obviously, how to make an updated and better version of my first-person mechanics. I'm going to start the game real quick so then you can see how it works, and then I'll get into the tutorial. I'm going to show you it with the non-first-person scoped weapons. By the way, sadly, just letting you guys know, this doesn't really work as well with certain skins. Uh, I'll just use my main skin as a as an example. Yeah, if you've got a skin on kind of like this, it'll screw up the camera for some reason. Depending on what, depending on what skin you're wearing, it will be completely different. See what I mean? I honestly don't get why Epic's done that. But it, it looks weird on quite a lot of skins. So make sure that you've got a skin... Like, make sure that you've got a skin on that is similar to this. Otherwise, if you're not wearing a skin similar to this, then it won't really look as good. But this is what it looks like. Alright, sorry. Now I'll get to the tutorial. Alright. Now, uh, oh, I only just realised that. <laughs> I've got the first person glitch. <clears throat> but anyways. First thing we're going to need is a player spawn pad. Just place that down. Don't have to rename it. And this depends on what you put it on. That doesn't really matter. I've got it on none because obviously I'm working on a map. Make sure that's invisible. Put down an elimination manager. And then obviously the settings. Don't have to rename this one. Now grab the input trigger, place it down, and rename it to input trigger jump, put in these settings, copy and paste it to the right, rename it to input trigger sprint. Put in these settings. Compu and copy and paste that behind. And rename it to input trigger forward back. Put in these settings. Copy another one next to the sprint. And rename it to input trigger crouch. Then put in these settings. Now uh, and copy one more next to that one and rename it to input trigger aim and put in these settings. Now we're going to need a switch. Just 
Now rename it to stat switch and put in these settings. Copy and paste that. Rename it to stat switch aim. Settings should be the same. And then copy and paste that again and rename it to aim switch. And obviously same settings. Now we need the camera orbit device. Let's place that down. Put it down and rename it to camera standing. Now put in the settings. You can always either slow down the video through the settings or pause it if you think I'm going way too fast. Copy and paste that to the right. Rename it to camera crouch. And then put in these settings. Copy and paste that again to the right, and rename it to Camera Stand Aiming. Put in these settings. Copy and paste that, and rename it to Crouch Aiming. Put in these settings. And copy and paste it to the right one more time. And rename it to camera sprinting. And put in these settings. All right, now to the connections. Go to the spawn pad and put in on player spawned, send event to, camera standing, add player. Now go to the elimination manager and put in uneliminated, Send event to, stat switch, turn off. Now go to the input trigger jump. And put in, on pressed, send event to, camera, mm, camera crouch, aiming, remove player. Stat switch, turn off. Camera crouch, remove player. Camera sprinting, remove player. Camera standing, add player. Yeah. That's all five of them. Now go to the input trigger sprint and then put in on input pressed send event to input trigger forward back register player camera crouch aiming remove player stat switch turn off camera crouch remove player Remove from player, sorry. Camera sprinting. Add to player. Camera standing. Remove from player. Camera stand aiming. 
remove from player. Now go to the input trigger forward back and put in register player input trigger sprint on input pressed and then unregister player when receiving from input trigger forward back on input released Now go to on input released, send event to, and put in input trigger, oh, you already know that one, <laughs> camera sprinting, remove from player, camera standing, add to player, Now go to input trigger crouch and then put on input pressed send event to stat switch toggle stat go to input trigger aim and put in on input pressed send event to Aim, switch, on, to, well, turn on. On, input, released, send event to. Aim, switch, turn off. Stat, switch, aim. Check, stat. Stat, switch. Check, stat. Now go to stat switch and go to turn off when receiving from input trigger sprint input trigger jump both on on input pressed also put in elimination manager on eliminated Go to toggle state, toggle stat, sorry, when receiving from, input trigger crouch, on input pressed, check stat when receiving from, aim switch, on checked, result off, aim switch, on turned off, and input trigger aim on input released now go to on turned on aim aim switch check stat stat switch aim turn on on turned off send event send event to Aim switch, check stat, stat switch aim, turn off, on checked result on, send event to, stat switch aim, turn on, camera crouch aiming, remove from player, camera crouch, add to player, Camera standing, remove from player. Unchecked result off, send event to. Stat switch aiming. Stat switch aim, turn off. Camera crouch. Remove from player. Camera standing. Add to player. 
camera stand aiming, remove from player. Camera s- no, okay. Now go to stat switch aim. Go to turn on when receiving from. Stat switch on turned on. Stat switch on check result on. Turn off when receiving from. Stat switch on turned off. Stat switch on checked result off. Check, res mm, check stat when receiving from. Aim, mm, aim switch on turned on. Aim switch on check result on. Input trigger aim. On input released. Go to on checked result on. Send event to. Camera crouch, add to player. Camera crouch, remove from player. Camera standing, remove from player. Unchecked result off, send events to. Crouch, ins camera crouch, remove from player. Camera standing. Remove from player. Camera stand aiming. Add to player. Go to aim switch. Turn on when receiving from input trigger. Aim. On input pressed. Turn off when receiving from. Input trigger aim on input released. Check stat when receiving from. Stat switch on turn on on turned on. Stat switch on turned off. On turned on. Stat switch aim. Check result. On turned off. Send events to. Stat switch, check result, well, check stat, unchecked result on, send events to, stat switch aim, check stat, on check result off, send events to, stat switch, check stat, and that should be it fully functional. These are already connected automatically, and this should give you the first person every time you spawn on it. And also, if you're lucky enough, you'll get the glitch that allows you to have first person in edit mode. Which actually helps a lot when you want to try and sculpt something. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful. And I hope you guys enjoy using this. Till next time. Peace.